So we're going to be doing some no evidence, no sanity runs all stream until that weekly challenge resets. I'm going to be grinding out as many levels as possible, and I'm going to allow you all to choose what maps we go to, as always. So you guys get to steer the direction that Crispy Chaos goes in. So let's go ahead and get into this real quick. So this sanity, this this thing I got going on here is the same thing I do every single time. Zero starting sanity, uh, zero hiding spots. Uh, one gr second grace period, zero evidence given, nothing too crazy here. When I do streaming, I go ahead and I turn flashlights on. That way you can all see what I'm looking at and it doesn't look too dark on your screens. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our first map vote of the night here in just a second once I get it set up, which shouldn't take too long at all. In fact, it's set up right now. So if you'd like to go ahead and enter numbers 1 through 13 in your chat right now, go ahead. Where are we going for our first round of the night for no evidence, no sanity runs? And the winner is Woodwind. Camp Woodwind is going to be the map for this one. Let's go do the stuff and things. You're doing good. Let's go. Let's go. That's good to hear, friendo. The weekend is almost over, but hopefully you had a good one. Going to throw that EMF reader in there for an electronic. That way it could potentially speed up on it if it's a Raiju. But I'm going to bring a flashlight nonetheless. Going to bring some salt in. Throw the salt over. Hey, Cat Bunny, how you doing? Good to see you. It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Water. I uh, probably need to bring a crucifix in there as well. At least one near the table where I'm going to be sitting at, at least. I'm going to throw this kind of to the left because I'm going to be sitting on that table. So if that crucifix protects me so it doesn't spawn on top of me, fantastic. Because if you have a fast ghost, it could be, could be go, going south very quickly. This one right here. Water. It all works. It all works, man. Gonna drop some salt down here in the center. Come here, EMF reader. And there's a crucifix here as well, but the likelihood of me finding it in the dark is unlikely. I hear a lot of throwings happening, which sounds like they're coming from over there. Can't really tell you at a specific location, but over there. <laughs> Somewhere in front of me. Oh, it's stepping to the saw here. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, shit. Okay. Listen, man. You're going to have to chill right now, ghost. You're going to have to chill out right this second. Oh, my God. Who is blocking my keyboard and mouse with Dixper? Somebody's looking to go for a Dixper kill so early on in the stream. Oh, it's Razor. Alright, this isn't good. Ooh! Alright. Definitely not a phantom, definitely not a wraith. EMF is doing some EDM over there. Nice. Okay. All right, okay. If it wouldn't have spawned so close to me, that would have been a lot easier, but the fact that it was, like, up here, like, that was that was not cool. <laughs> All right. Step it outside here real quick. What, what do we know? What do we know? I know it's not a Phantom. It's not a Wraith. It is not a Revenant. It is not a Diogen. It is not a Baroi. It is not a Thay. It is realistically nothing fast at all, except for maybe a Hantu. Uh, but... The, it didn't have accelerated speed. It didn't seem like it, but I lost line of sight on it fairly fairly quickly. So I'm going to leave the Hanshu in for right this second. But I know that all the ghosts that have, like, are fast, especially around electronics or just naturally, those are out for sure. Did it throw a lot of stuff? Not really. Not really. Not, not to the, the degree that I think a poltergeist would. So I'm going to get rid of the poltergeist as well for the time being. What are we bringing back in? I didn't use my smudge stick yet, so we're good on that. I'll probably bring more salt in to get more photos. And I really hope it doesn't spawn on top of me this time. Oh my god. I'm gonna go over here. It's like on top of those tables. I also want to see if this thing roams towards me. I want to see if it's a banshee. Because the fact that it's just in my area, right off the bat, is very suspicious. I hear a lot of activity still over there, so I don't think it's roaming towards me yet, if at all. It's hunting from over there. Sounds like it's, like, closer to the campfire this time. Let me give it line of sight here. Alright, it's not a gin. It didn't do a gin speed boost. It 
See if it knows where I am after I did that. Oh, it stopped. I was gonna try to test for a yokai at the end there, but we didn't get it in time. Hey, ghost. All right, it's not a gin. It did not have a gin speed boost ability. It did not have to sound fast or slow to be twins, so I'm probably gonna get rid of twins as well. I wonder if I look through the camera, can I see like mimic orbs right now? Because if it's like right there, that camera should be able to see that area, I think, decently enough. Yeah. I can see those tables perfectly fine. So if there was going to be a mimic orb in that area, I would see it right here. And I don't. I see it through something, but I don't see an orb. All right. Going to get rid of mimic then. El Mimo is out of here. Parabolic microphone objective. That's no fun. Ghost, can I have my table back? Can I have my table back, please? Oh, it's getting closer again. It's working its way back over here. Could do an Onrio test. Wow. We got a decent amount of blinks there. I don't think that's an Oni. Yeah, probably not an Oni. Normal speed. My feeling of no twins is still definitely firm. Not a yokai. I knew where it was when I used my electronics, so we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of Oni. And we're starting to narrow this down a little bit more. I do believe it had line of sight speed at one point, especially when I was standing over there and it was over here. I think it gained a little bit of speed on me. So I'm going to probably get rid of Hantu as well. Hantus don't have any line of sight speed outside of cold temperatures. No, it doesn't see you behind the table. As long as you sit behind the table that's like here. If you're here and the ghost is over there, it'll see you over on this part. So it's all determined, it's determined by where you're standing on the table. Oh shit, it's hiding again. Ah. Leave me alone, nobody's here. Come back later. Oh! <laughs> this isn't good, chat. This is not good even a little bit. Oh, it, it circled back. It circled back again. It's the end! Oh, my bum! Because it seemed to uh, gain speed if you were running around it together. Yeah. So, I mean, we got rid of the Hansu now. Definitely for sure there. Uh, no no Baki shape-shifting. I would have seen one by now. Nothing there. Um, has it changed areas? I think yes. I think it probably has. So, I think it's no Gorio. I don't think it's a Banshee. It doesn't seem to be roaming towards me. I haven't done an official... An official test to see if it's a spirit yet. I could try to smudge it and do a three-minute timer. I got my timer ready to go now. And we could probably do an Onrio test. The problem is I don't know exactly where it is. I don't know its official spot. Just meant to... It, uh, it seemed to gain without line of sight if you can't see you behind the table. Yeah. I think it's, like, over here. But I really don't know. Let me just bring a couple candles in right now. I'm going to bring, like, two or three. Maybe I'll bring a thermometer in. That's probably a better bet. Because if I could use the thermometer to find the coldest area, that would be way, way more telling than anything else. Temperature's going down here, but just a little bit. Mostly intense or mostly moist? Both. Oh, shit. He's got cold breath. It's a freaking Hantu. Well, shit me. Shit me right now. I saw his breath for a second. I saw it for a second. Don't you dare come over here. I will burn you with this Brunson burner, I swear. I want to see its breath, but I don't want to, like... I don't want to come out of this spot, either. All right, I guess it is a Hantu. I definitely saw smoke in its general vicinity, like cold breath, without... I didn't like my smudge or anything. I didn't like my smudge or anything like that. So it had to have been from it. Wait a minute. Oh my god, it's a freaking mimic. Look, I saw the orb right there to the right side of the camera. There it is. There it is. It's a freaking mimic. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness we came back and checked because I was like, I'm almost positive that this wasn't a Hantu, and now it is. <laughs> I was like, how is this happening? Parabolic microphone objective? Should I go? I don't I don't even want to go for it because I don't I have to like point in the direction of the ghost and I don't know where the direction of the ghost is. It probably is over there. Oh, Jesus. Just 
just scream, damn it! Do it! Do something! Fart! I'll take a fart at this point! I will take a literal fart! I did it. Okay, sweet. Let's go. We're out of here. Wow. A little far. Perfect. Perfect. And LMC, thank you for the far. I appreciate you. What did you have for dinner? What did you have for dinner? We got our tier three photo camera unlocked. I'm going to go ahead and go to our shop and unlock that real fast. We got $47,000. So they got money to spare for sure. Everybody, it's that time again. Go ahead and vote for our next map in Phasmophobia numbers 1 through 13 in chat. Any map you want, go for it. The winner is Tanglewood on this one. Everybody who voted for random, if the map you voted for did not win this time, don't worry, we're going to be voting again next round to choose the next map of Phasmophobia, so stick around. But this round goes to Tangle. All the Tangle winners out there, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in... I don't even think I need the EMF reader. If I'm going to bring a flashlight in, that'll probably be good enough. I'll bring in that. This. Where to buy? Maybe maybe soon. Who knows? Have you done the weekly challenge already tonight? I have not, Chris. It doesn't reset for another hour. It doesn't reset for another hour. 8 p.m. Eastern time every single Sunday is when it resets. Forgot that time it resets at? Yeah, it resets at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, It gets impacted by United States um, Daylight Savings Time. So it used to be 7 and now it's 8 after the Daylight Savings Time happened. All right, here we go. We're going to go in, everybody. Three, two, one. Don't hunt me. Don't hunt me. Oh, okay. Or just eat the crucifix right off the bat. That's cool, too. Well, I got my uh, I got my objective for EMF. That's done. Let me go get a uh, photo camera, I suppose. That is what I forgot. If the ghost hunted me there, I was going to throw pocket sand in its eyes. It's going to hit it with the pocket sand. Oh, jeez. One, two. Does a tree make a noise if nobody's there to hear it fall down? This ghost is getting spicy. Is this just the ghost of Darth Vader? Probably. It's on the dark side. We got our shovel. Oh, God! Hold up. Damn it. I missed it. Oh, come on. Well, it's not a phantom. I'm going to beat you with this shovel ghost. I swear. Yeah. If only I could throw. If only I could throw. Oh, it's hunting. Wait a minute. Are you a, are you a Dio? You're a Dio again? No way. There's no way that we get lucky with two Geo Deogens. Not even an hour into stream. Ain't no way. Ain't no how. Gotta take this Dio for a walk. It is our obligation as ghost hunters to walk this Deogen. And to probably smudge you, too. Yeah, I had a cleanse objective, so sorry. That had to happen. Two times an hour? Absolutely. You better believe it. We're the Diogen Whisperer, evidently. The most embarrassing round happened yesterday. All four of us died in the same hunt to a Dio. Were you all hiding? You were all hiding together and it just got you? It happens. If you don't know not to not to hide, like, a DOJ can be very dangerous very quickly. All right. Let's just leave. That was too simple. To another one. All right, we've got 3,789 XP for that round. Very, very good. All right, everybody, we're going back to the map voting here. You guys know what to do. We're back so soon. Numbers 1 through 13 in chat. What is our next map going to be? Let's see it. And the winner is Random. Random is going to take this one. Although, I must say, Ridgeview got very close. So Ridgeview enjoyers, try voting again next round. You might win this time. Random is the winner. Let's see where the Phasmophobia gods are going to take us. And for all we know, it could be Ridgeview. Here we go. Maple Lodge campsite. Not quite. What's my objectives? Motion sensor, cleanse, escape. Okay, we could do... Two of those with a smudge stick, so that's not bad. Use it to my advantage? What am I using to my advantage here, announcer man? Lady, thank you for the lurk. Play, uh, since my in-laws have a baby, I'll peek in from time to time. I appreciate you, lady. Thank you for lurking and supporting the channel. Thank you to all of our lurkers out there, by the way. This is a lurk-friendly stream, and we appreciate you all being here. All right. 
Maple Lodge is a little bit of a tricky one for no evidence, no sanity, and no hiding spots because the only good natural hiding spot is inside that reception area that's right in front of us behind the desk, but the ghost could be really far away and never make it to you over there. So we're going to have to see where we can hear the ghost coming from and move from that point. So here we go. I'm not even going to drop my salt down until I know where this ghost is starting from. I'm going to sit back here for the time being. Okay, I hear I hear noises. It's not far. It actually... It's this way. It's out the front door. So it's right outside the reception. Basically the front entrance. Normal speeds. Normal speeds indeed. Nothing fast, nothing slow. Ooh. Ooh. It's in here with me. Later, Miss Fortune. I hope you have a good rest of your night, friend. Have a good rest of your Sunday. Dude, how are all the ghosts of the uh, the front of the map? I don't know right now. I don't I don't know if I like it or not. Okay, done. Let me get some salt set up. Turn on a light. It turn on a light. It is not a mare. Hello, Salt. Speaking of Salt, we got Salt here. How you doing, friendo? How was your weekend? Hope it was good. Interaction. I had a fantastic weekend, and I hope you did too. All right, it's slowing down from stepping in that Salt. It is not a wraith. like that you can't hear the footsteps of a ghost once it steps inside here when it's in here and you're outside you hear nothing hey tactical how you doing buddy how was your weekend friendo hope it was good hope we're doing well hey peggy peggy happy sunday friend how are you i got a smudge timer going by the way everybody i have a timer going for a spirit since i cleansed it was the uh, was that uh, pretty good timing with the salt and everything? I know it was fantastic timing. It's like you planned it out. That was so good. Because it seemed like that ghost was a little fast once it came outside of here, but I couldn't hear the sound of its footsteps. I don't want to commit to anything. You ready for tomorrow? Sounds good, Tactical. For anybody that does not know, we've been doing a little series. We only had one episode so far, but we're getting more. It's a uh, basically like a little bit of like a talk show, if you will, where I basically ask a couple questions to our current community members. We're starting with the people that have been here the longest, working our way up. And it basically allows us to learn more about the people that are inside the Tater Talk community. That way you can learn something about them that maybe you didn't know. Find a new friend. Maybe they have the same hobbies you do outside of streaming and outside of gaming. So that is called Tater Talks, and it is inside of our Discord only, down in the Tater Talks channel in our Discord. Hope you all find that pretty cool. Tactical Juice will be the first, the second person that goes up. Oh! I can't see, Jeff! Jeff, I can't see! Ooh. Do, do, do. I think it's a Hondu because it seems uh, to be faster outside than inside. I honestly don't know. I'm going to have to do a speed test on this ghost when it's not inside of here. Because inside of this, this building, I can't hear it at all. I cannot hear its footsteps. It's bugged, and they need to fix it. But I don't think it's a phantom. What's up, Fate? How you doing, friendo? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Happy Spud Day Sunday. Who's the Jeff person? 
Uh, Jeff, is the name of that Dixburg card that displayed on your screen. Look like an interesting kind of ghost. That is called Jeff. Hey, Tater, doing okay. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Hey, I'm having a good weekend, friend. It was a very busy and productive weekend, but honestly, we're starting to slow down right now. Playing some fast, but it's a good time. It is a good time. Doop, doop, doop. that. I'm going to kind of chill over here and see if I can get a gauge on in speed out this way. No, we're not doing the challenge yet. The challenge is reset until 8 p.m. Eastern time, which is another 49, 49 minutes. 49 minutes. But right now, here in this moment, we are going to get a spare on these set of pins right here. I've been training my entire phasmophobia career for this moment. Yeah. Let's try again. <laughs> Let's try again. Yeah. Yes. I get absolutely blocked by this towel right here that is obviously made of something very hard and plasticky. What's going on, Adam Butterfly? So good to see you. How have you been? Welcome on in. Happy Spud Day Sunday. Hope we're having a great weekend. It's not hunting yet. We're still good. Still, we're still golden. Look out for the bears. Look out for the bear. Ooh. Very fast. I think this might be a gym. Because without seeing me, it seems like it slows down to normal normal speeds. Like, it didn't maintain that fast speed that it just had. So I think it's only line of sight, and it's only with the power on, which means it's a gym. Because a Hantu would have been fast, for the most part, you know, everywhere was fast before. The gym! The gym goes, absolutely. What is your next stream? My next stream is going to be on Tuesday on, on Twitch. But I also stream on TikTok on Mondays and Thursdays. Here's our schedule if you're new to the channel. Anybody new to the channel, there is the schedule right there. Mondays and, and Thursdays on TikTok at 7 p.m. Tuesday is usually my 8 p.m. stream. That's a later one because I work a real job on Tuesdays. But every other day on Twitch, we stream at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So Sundays, Tuesdays, Fridays on Twitch.